Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long since I have posted a video on here. So thank you for your patience. A quick update, the channel is no longer Steph and Home. It is called Yes We Homeschool, fueled by the many times that I am asked if we really homeschool, to which I say yes, we homeschool. I want the channel to be a little bit more homeschool specific um, and I thought it would uh, make more sense to change it. So stay for the, the ride, it's similar to what I was posting before. The first thing we're going to do is review um, a little bit of the curriculum choices that I posted in my last video a few months ago, which I will link at the bottom. I did a homeschool haul um, and the first one I want to review is Mystery of History Volume 1. So let's get started. So this by far has been our favorite choice uh, for history in the three years we've been homeschooling. It is the Mystery of History. It is a chronological Christian complete world history curriculum for all ages. And you'll see how it really fits nicely in with um, all ages, no matter the age gap. It's really easy to use. It's open and go. It's biblically based. Um, there are a ton of options for all different learning styles, all different um, educational models. So no matter how you learn or how you prefer to teach, you're going to find an option here. There is also an audio available for um, the text. So if you don't want to read aloud, you can pop a, a CD in and you can hear the lesson that way. So with volume one, it goes over major stories in the Bible um, in chronological order. But the nice thing is that it goes alongside significant world history events and figures. So you're learning it all. And I can't wait to show you an example of a lesson. So I, I've opened it up to Lesson 19, Moses and the Exodus. As I'm reading the lesson, my second grader was coloring using Mystery of History's coloring pages. That is something that is available on their website as a download. Then my older son, who's in middle school, was filling out these um, pages. It's a student notebook. He had decorated it in front, um, but that's what he was doing. Also available on their website as a download. Once we were done with that, then we would choose one or two of these activities. And the way they have it split up, for all students, you pick one or number two or both. It doesn't matter, it's up to you. We did the family film night. Um, for younger students, you can reenact the Passover. For middle students, like middle schoolers, um, you can have them do this activity, which is what my son did. The notes he wrote in the notebook, he made into index cards and went a little bit more in depth. And then if you have older students, then um, they could have done this activity. The book I just showed you with all the options for activities is called The Companion Guide. And it is full of information per lesson, providing you with all these options. Um, for your students. It is phenomenal resource, phenomenal. Let me go ahead and give you a quick skim of the textbook now that I've explained how the lessons work. It's full of color, absolutely beautiful. 
I've loved this. My kids have too. Um, my older son will continue using it. Um, he'll go on to volume two, volume three, volume four. My daughter and I are trying something a little bit different. Um, so there you have it. This is everything you get and there's a ton more options that you can add to it as well. The companion student notebook for older students or middle school students, coloring pages for the younger um, kids, and then your textbook. Hope you enjoyed that.